So in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show how do we find a big O estimate for actually something fairly similar. In this case, simple, which is in fact a, a, a polynomial. Okay. And so what I'm going to, I've got here is uh, plus eight times n plus one. Okay. And so this is going to end up being n cubed plus eight n plus n squared plus eight. Okay. Which is just going to be n cubed plus n squared plus eight n plus eight. All right. Okay. Now we already know, okay, that the highest degree of the polynomial, right, n cubed, yes, is going to dictate what the O number is, the smallest possible O number it is. So we know this is O of, in this case, n cubed, right, or x cubed. Okay. Now, just to show you how that's the case, when one, then n cubed is gonna be greater than n squared, all right? You can check that out. You can actually go in and graph it and you'll see that that's the case, all right? Um, and in addition to that, n cubed will be greater than n. So that's also true because this is linear and this guy is cubed, right? So once we pass one, skyrocketing upward, okay? And n cubed is greater than one. So what we can do is we can say, let x, be greater than one, thus, okay, n cubed plus eight n uh, plus n squared, okay, plus eight n plus eight is gonna be less than or equal to n cubed plus n cubed plus eight n cubed plus eight n cubed. There you go, right? Because at each step, we just replaced a smaller number with a bigger number, and so consequently we've increased it, okay? This is gonna equal, right, one, two, 10, 18, 18n cubed, right? So our function, n cubed plus n squared plus eight n plus eight is less than or equal to 18n cubed. This means that our function is O of n cubed. O of n cubed, okay? With witnesses, here are the witnesses. K equal to one, right? Because there's K equal to one and C equal to 18, right? Any value bigger than one and any value bigger than 18 is also gonna end up being a witness or a set of witnesses, right? just fine as long as you get bigger than those guys now what I want to show you here is, is basically what we've done in a polynomial in a polynomial case right you can just replace each one of the terms right n squared n and 1 with the highest degree polynomial because once n's bigger than 1 once that variable is bigger than 1 what we end up with is we're going to end up with right a value that is in fact larger than our original function you can pretty much do that with any set of functions, as long as you're kind of following along with that order, right? The order of dominance um, that we did in the earlier video, where you know you're basically you're saying that a constant function uh, is is less dominant than the linear function, which is less dominant than a polynomial, or than a excuse me, a constant logarithm, linear polynomial, uh, exponential factorial, right? It's basically that kind of idea. So as long as you have that happening, right, you can actually do this kind of replacement in order to show, right, and find a big O estimate. Okay, there you go.